Hello everyone, this is our fourth example para sa quotient rule of differentiation. But first, pag-usapan muna natin kung paano gamitin itong rule na to. Let u and v be functions of x. And then kapag kinukuha natin yung quotients nila, wherein yung u, this function, yung nasa numerator, tapos yung v naman ay yung nasa denominator. If you have u over v, then getting its derivative is just equal to, kukuhanin lang natin yung nasa baba, kukopyahin natin siya, by using this formula, tapos imumultiply natin siya dun sa derivative nung nasa numerator. We copy the low times derivative of the high minus we copy yung nasa taas naman, high times imumultiply naman natin siya dun sa derivative nung nasa baba. High times derivative of the low all over, kuhanin mo yung v yung nasa denominator, then square mo lang siya. This is quotient rule of differentiation. Now, gamitin natin siya dito sa Example natin. We have y is equal to 1 all over x squared plus square root of x all over 2x plus 1. But first, bago natin gamitin directly yung formula, ayusin muna natin yung form. Kasi meron tayong 1 over x squared, pwede natin siyang gawing negative exponent. Tapos we have square root of x, pwede tayong kumuha ng rational exponent. Kasi as we recall, if we have x raised to negative n, this is just equal to 1 all over x raised to n. In our case, andito tayo sa 1 over x raised to n, yung 1 over x squared, ililipat natin siya into its negative exponent. Kaya kapag sinulat natin, we have y is equal to yung 1 over x squared getting its reciprocal that is just x raised to 2 pero dahil ginawa natin to, that will be x raised to negative 2. Then plus, tuloy naman tayo dito sa square root of x. Again, as a recall, if you have x raised to a, tapos kinukuha mo yung root niya as b, this is just equivalent to x, tapos yung exponent ni x sa loob, that is the numerator, a all over kung ano yung root, that is our denominator. So yung square root of x, 1 lang naman yung exponent niya sa loob, so we have x, ang numerator ay 1, pero we are getting the square root, our root b, so that is just 1 all over 2. Kaya we have x raised to negative 2 plus x raised to 1 half sa ating Numerator, we copy our denominator, this is still 2x plus 1. Ngayong kompleto na tayo, we have our numerator as u, that is x raised to negative 2 plus x raised to 1 half. Tapos ang denominator naman natin, that is v, it is just equal to 2x plus 1. Now we apply our quotient rule of differentiation. Getting its derivative, we have dy over dx is just equal to Following the formula, we copy our denominator v, 2x plus 1. So we have here, tapos, imumultiply daw natin siya sa derivative nung nasa numerator natin na u. So we have to get the derivative of x raised to negative 2 plus x raised to 1 half. Dito, gagamit tayo ng derivative of a power or power rule of differentiation. As we recall, if we are getting the derivative of x raised to a certain exponent n, ang ginagawa lang natin is kinukuha natin yung exponent, binababa natin siya, we have n times x raised to n, yung exponent natin ay babawasan natin ng isa. So, x raised to n, its derivative is just equal to n times x raised to n minus 1. Ganun ang gagawin natin dito sa ating numerator. Since we have our x raised to negative 2, ang exponent natin ay negative 2, siya yung ibababa natin. So, getting the derivative, we have negative 2, tapos we have our x, yung exponent na negative 2, according to the formula, ay babawasan natin ng isa. So, we have negative 2 minus 1 plus, we do the same process here, ang exponent naman natin ay 1 half. So, 1 half naman yung ibababa natin. Kaya, ito ay magiging 1 half, tapos imumultiply natin siya kay x, yung exponent ay babawasan din natin ng isa, we have 1 half minus 1. This is the derivative of our u. Ito. Now, let us proceed with our second part ng ating formula. We have minus, following the sign, u, kukopihin naman natin yung nasa numerator natin. We have x raised to negative 2 plus x raised to 1 half. Kapag nakopya na natin to, imumultiply natin siya sa derivative ng nasa denominator na 2x plus 1. Masimple naman to. So, getting the derivative, we have 2. Tapos ang exponent ni x is just 1. So siya ngayon yung ibababa natin. Bringing down 1, tapos yung x, yung exponent na 1 ay babawasan natin ng isa. We have 1 minus 1 plus we have our 1 here. This is just a constant. 
ang derivative ng constant is just equal to 0. Kaya ang derivative ng 1, we have 0. Then following the formula, denominator, kuhanin natin si v, tapos yung square niya. So this is all over our denominator v, 2x plus 1, and then squared. Ngayon, we only have to simplify our numerator. Going straight here, this is just equal to, kopihin muna natin to, ito muna yung galawin natin. So we have 2x plus 1 times negative 2 x tapos negative 2 minus 1 that is negative 3. So we have negative 2 x raised to negative 3 plus meron tayong fraction dito 1 over 2 x 1 half minus 1 ang gagawin natin ay yung 1 half babawasan natin ang isa since they do not share the same denominator yung 1 ay gagawin natin 2 over 2. So we have 1 over 2 minus 2 over 2 pareho na sila ng denominator this is just equal to negative 1 over 2. Kaya yung exponent natin, this will become negative 1 over 2. Then, okay na tayo for this part. This is minus. Kopihin ulit natin. We have x raised to negative 2 plus x raised to 1 half. Tapos, simplify natin. We have 2 times 1. This is 2. Kaso, we have x raised to 1 minus 1. This will become x raised to 0. And kapag ka kumukuha tayo ng 0 exponent, this is just equal to 1. Kaya yung x raised to 1 minus 1 or x raised to 0, this will become 1. So we have 2 times 1 times 1, that is just equal to 2, kaya ito ay 2 lang. Then okay na tayo dun, this is all over our denominator, 2x plus 1 raised to 2. Medyo naging simple na yung numerator, pero pwede pa natin siyang gawa ng paraan. Kasi we can still perform our multiplication. So this is equal to, multiply tayo, we have 2x times negative 2x raised to negative 3. Ito ay magiging 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Tapos x times x raised to negative 3. Since they share the same base, ang gagawin natin sa exponent ay i-add natin. So we have 1 plus negative 3. That is just equal to negative 2. Then proceed tayo, 2x times 1 over 2x raised to negative 1 half. So yung constant, 2 times 1 over 2, 2 times 2, numerator, that is 2 divided by 2, magiging 1 lang siya. So, we add 1 lang naman, kaya kapag minultiply natin dun sa exponent, we have our x, exponent nito is 1, 1 plus negative 1 half, we have our new exponent that is 1 over 2. Then, eto, 1 lang naman, kokopihin na lang natin yung values na nandito, 1 times negative 2, x raised to negative 3, gamitin na natin yung sign, kaya eto ay magiging minus 2, x raised to negative 3, same here, pareho lang naman, kaya ito ay magiging plus 1 over 2 x raised to negative 1 half. Then dito naman tayo sa kabila, we have x raised to negative 2 times 2. This will become 2 x raised to negative 2 dahil subtraction, baguhin na natin yung sign, this is minus 2 x raised to negative 2. Same here, 2 x raised to 1 half, kaso subtraction, kaya minus 2 x raised to 1 half. Then we have the same denominator, this is all over 2x plus 1 raised to 2. Then simplify na lang natin, let us perform yung operation na kaya pa sa numerator. So this is just equal to, ayusin na natin, ano pa yung common term? Pataas na lang siguro tayo, magumpisa tayo sa x raised to negative 3. So we have negative 2, x raised to negative 3, tapos x raised to negative 2, meron tayong dalawa. Meron tayong negative 4 x raised to negative 2 minus 2 x raised to negative 2. That is minus 6 x raised to negative 2. Okay na tayo sa x raised to negative 2. Let us proceed with x raised to 1 half. Meron din tayong dalawa. x raised to 1 half minus 2 x raised to 1 half. That is equal to negative 1 x raised to 1 half. Or pwede na lang natin isulat as minus x raised to 1 half. Then we have our negative exponent here plus 1 over 2, x raised to negative 1 half. Ngayon na napagsama-sama na natin yung pare-pareho ang exponent sa numerator. This is all over. We have still 2x plus 1 squared. Ito na yung simplified form natin. This is our dy over dx. This is the derivative of our function. Pwede na naman to as final answer, pero kung gusto mo pang laruin yung given value, if you want to transform yung negative exponent, tsaka yung Rational exponents, pwede rin naman. So, we have our dy over dx. Pareho din naman to dun sa sagot. 
we have negative 2 all over, yung x raised to negative 3 over x cubed minus, we have 6, x raised to negative 2, that is x squared, minus, yung x raised to 1 half, pwede mong gawing square root of x plus, yung 1 over 2, x raised to negative 1 half, pwede gawing 1 over denominator 2, tapos negative exponent tayo 1 half, so this can be square root of x. Then, wala naman tayong gagalawin sa denominator, this is all over 2x plus 1 squared. This is another form nung sagot natin. Either of the two is correct. And finally, ito na yung proseso kung paano natin gagamitin ang quotient rule of differentiation para makuha yung derivative nung given natin na function. With that, I hope that you have learned something. Thank you for watching.